guys. Am I on? <laughs> Hi everyone. It's me Eunice in the house and I'm so happy to be here today. Finally here with another live for Wish Trends and today it's not Kunis but it's Eunice in the house. And I wonder how many people are here to hang out with me. <gasps> We have a lot of people here today. Thank you everyone for coming and hanging out with me. And as you can see, the topic for today is right there. And hi, good morning, Jay Banna. Hello, Alcade. Christelle. Christelle. I love that. Hi guys, Queen. Eunice, you have a fabulous name, by the way. <laughs> So in Korea, guys, uh, today is um, Wednesday, right, DK? And DK in the house. DK, do you want to say hi? Hi. Just, yes, DK is here again to help us out. And I'm so excited that you guys are here to hang out with me today. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Fati. Limeng. So many Eunice's here. I like it. Hello from Hawaii. You know, it's one of my dreams to visit Hawaii. Or I honestly wanted to get married in um, Bali or in Jeju-do or Hawaii. I always dreamt of getting married there. So if I do get married, I hope I'll invite you guys and you guys can come to my wedding. That will be so awesome, huh? We'll have a huge wedding so everybody can drink and have fun and we can just celebrate and hang out together. Hello from Malaysia. I personally loved traveling to Malaysia, but because it was a business trip, I couldn't experience a lot, but it was the first overseas experience I had of meeting wish trenders there. So it was just amazing. And I think it will be unforgettable. And we're so excited because we're going to Vietnam in December too, and we will have detailed information for you there. Hi from Italy, Cami. Thank you for all the hearts, you guys. Thank you so much. And Ajay, hello. Suzy, hello. Omiji, hello. <laughs> so guys, I'm so happy that everybody is here today to hang out with me. Today, I wanted to keep this live a little bit personal so I can check out the phone more. And one thing, you guys, um, today is the celebration where um, it's the day of our anniversary for Wish Trends, um, we are all having a dinner. So um, we're actually having brunch together, so we're gonna have to leave right after the live, but it's the celebration of the beginning of the day. So I'm super happy for Wish Trends, and we're so excited for this anniversary. And yes, Team Wish Trend, hello Wish Trenders, hello everyone, so happy that you guys are here. And today I just brought some of my personal hand-picked products uh, for um, brightening, or some people might call it whitening. So I'm super excited. Should we get started? Yes. Hello, Aminika, Mel. Thank you. Hello from Mexico. Hola, como estas? Oh, thank you so much. Uh, Jace, I'm in love with your hair. Um, actually, my roots are growing right now. Um, my hair grows so fast. I mean, my eyebrows for my everywhere for my mustache, <laughs> just everywhere. My hair grows so fast. I think it's because of the supplements I take too. It helps. Uh, but anyways, thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, Scarlett. Hi, VL Rem, if I'm saying that right. Sararu. Hello. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are so sweet. Okay. Now we have 50 people here with us today. And Susie, thank you. Susie said your makeup is on point. Thank you so much. Amelia, hello. Thank you for coming. And I'm so happy that everyone's here today because did you guys know, do you guys know when is the best time to start brightening your products? I mean, brightening your products. Do you know when's the best time to start brightening? The brightening effect out of the whole year? Does anybody know? 
all new set just order vitamin c drop and the max 75 cream and chica chica whitening cream and the toner and manuka honey choco soap and but i don't know if i should buy a cleanser <laughs> okay i will help you guys out in a little bit and uh oh net ding dong ding net set fall and out of the whole season i mean we have wish trenders all over the world and right now currently i know that everybody has different seasons but usually uh in korea right now it's fall time it's becoming very very cold and it's almost winter but it's perfectly fall right now and fall is the best season to be able to uh, use brightening products or focus on your skin for whitening or brightening because do you guys know why? Yes? Do you guys know why? <laughs> the reason is because, you know, after um, the strong sun rays and strong sun exposure after the summertime, a lot of our freckles, pigmentations, and suntan or sunburns exist on our skin. So our skin is usually after the summer really damaged from the sun you might say oh but i like my freckles and i like a little bit of tan and that's fine too but technically if we get a tan or if we you know get exposed by the sun for a long time that's not really good for our skin and it did damage our skin so fall actually is the best time to really take care of your skin for that because if you wait until the winter then already it can permanently damage your skin so after the summer it's the best to make sure that you put an effort to really try to brighten up your skin and when I mean by brightening and whitening that word whitening is technically a little bit wrong because it literally doesn't bleach your skin or it doesn't white your, whiten your skin. But in Korea, since it's not, of course, it's not their first language, um, they started saying it's uh, whitening products. And what they mean by is brightening. And it's basically uh, the definition of uh, fading out your acne scars, fading out any pigmentation on your skin that you don't want. And even freckles, fading out your freckles. And if, it, if you have kind of uneven skin tone, and it's kind of... Uh, uh, brightening your overall skin tone to even that out too so that's the exact definition but some products still use that term whitening or brightening at times so anyways yeah so fall is the best time and it's now or never guys so i think it's the best time for us right now to start our brightening products and start using them but you know one thing there are so many ways actually that we can help to brighten our skin. We can eat certain types of food or supplements to brighten our skin. We can use cosmetics or we can actually go to um, a station or, um, you know, beauty classes or also a um, dermatologist to get specific lasers or treatments to brighten your skin. However, brightening your overall skin tone is not that easy. So it's not going to happen after one procedure or it's not going to happen overnight. So the effects of it, it's not really drastic or dramatic. However, for brightening your overall skin tone or brightening or fading away your acne scars and your pigmentation, the best thing to you do is to use uh, brightening cosmetics, but for a continuously, uh, for consistency. So you have to use it with consistency and you have to continue on using that. And that's the best way that you can get the results that you want. Mm -hmm. Yes, so a lot of people, I think, feel me on this one and I'm like leaning onto this side, huh? I should stay in the middle. Uh, so Susie said, yeah, my skin is kind of uneven right now. I had to get new products last week because of the change of the temperature. Oh, I know what you mean, girl. Like I could feel it on my skin. I mean, we just had a live for um, uh, summer to fall transition uh, for our skincare products because I could definitely feel that my skin is getting much, much more dry and it can tell that it starts pulling after around 3 p.m. after lunch. I could definitely feel that. So Yes, I know you guys feel me on that one too. Okay. Aww. So, yeah, everybody's really suffering from just overall the uneven skin tone. And a lot of people have 
uh, problems with pores and whiteheads and things like that. And you guys, uh, today is about brightening, so I'm not gonna deal, I guess, uh, specifically on those topics. But let me introduce you to something. Uh, you know, once we have wish, try, love that people love so much, once the deal is over, to be honest, you can't get the exact same discount. However, if you go to wishtrend.com, there's a whole section of wish, try, love. So you can get the deals from the past with different discount. It's not like up to 40%, like, like it is when we have our original deal, but it is up to, I think, 20 or, you know, less or more. So if you guys have concerns of pores, oily skin type, you know, dry but dehydrated skin type, uh, oily but dehydrated skin type, acne scars, or anything like that, go check it out because there's a whole selection of uh, routine for your specific skin concern. And the, the videos for how to's are on Wish Trend TV and Wish Beauty Lab, so if you can definitely check that out. Now, today I have brought a selection of products also from a special section on wishtrend.com. So you guys know that it feels good when you get something for a little bit like less, meaning that who doesn't like discounts, right? And I always tell everyone, our wish trenders, like before you check out of the cart, make sure you visit the special section. So if you go to wish trend exclusive, like wish exclusive, okay, go to wishtrend.com. Go to Wish Exclusive and then you can see Wish Try Love section. You can see a section that I personally really like called Wish Recipe. And Wish Recipe section is amazing because you have few selection of products that can specifically target the you know skin concerns you have. Like right now you guys told me acne scars and you guys told me uh, whiteheads and pores and things like that. So it's not a whole selection of products, but it's usually two or three selection of products. So you can actually add it into your routine. So definitely check that out. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have 62 people here with us and I see a lot of, yeah, acne scars. I have sensitive skin too, and there are brightening products for it. Wonderful. Yes. Thank you, Cami. And Aw. <laughs> oh, so someone asked me what where do you live, Eunice? What well, like what place in Korea? I don't live in Seoul, but I work in Seoul. Our office is in Gangnam Station, but we're gonna be actually moving soon, um, within two weeks. My house is a little bit far away. My house to commute takes about an hour and it's in Suji. My house is in Suji. Mm. Not Miss A Suji, but my house is Suji, okay? Mm. Dennis has a good question. How to remove small bumps? We recently had a video for that, Dennis. So if you go to Wish Trend TV on our YouTube channel right now, it's uh, an amazing video where we give you product recommendations. But personally, I think exfoliating and hydrating your skin is the most important thing for whiteheads or small bumps on your skin. So I want to personally recommend um, BioWish Trends Mandelic um, Skin Prep Water. Okay, check that out. Hi Matcha, hello! Are you planning to have a Christmas sale? Well, before Christmas, won't there be Black Friday and Cyber Monday, guys? So please be on the lookout too. Mm -hmm. Matcha, Matcha Avocado, I love your name. I like matcha and I like avocado and I'm guessing you like matcha and then you like avocado too. <laughs> okay, all right. So Miss A N just asked a great question. How do you remove sunspots? Very good. Now that is related to our topic, which I'm grateful for. Now, as you guys can see in the back, today's topic is total brightening solution for all skin types. So if you are even a teen, so the selection of products that I brought to you today is great for teen skin to mature skin. So keep tuned in for, for those of you with, you know, from teen skin to mature skin. Um, it's going to be every single selection of products today. It's going to be for you guys and it's mild enough, but it's effective for you guys to be able to use daily. So, mm-hmm. 
Is it good to use brightening products for sensitive acne prone? Now, Rika, that's a great question because if you have sensitive skin, the worst thing you can do to sensitive skin is to make it more sensitive or to irritate it because that's gonna make it more sensitive. However, if you want to use a brightening product, you have to make sure that it's mild, but it's very tricky because you have acne prone skin and brightening products usually um, have vitamin C. A lot of them have vitamin C in it, which is a tricky ingredient because it's so wonderful to fade away acne marks, pigmentation, to brighten your overall skin tone. However, it may be too strong for sensitive skin types. So for me, to be honest, as I tell you all the time, I have sensitive skin. So I love using certain products like vitamin drop from Claris, but for BioStrand C21.5, it's very effective, but it's too strong for me. It has 21.5% vitamin C. That's crazy technology. If you check out other serums, they usually have like 15 or whatever, but 21.5 is pretty high. So it's very effective though. So I, I'm kind of sad that I can't use it, but even for me, uh, with sensitive skin type and acne prone skin type, I like vitamin drop and it works fine for me. It has 5% vitamin C in it. So that's a great question. Mm -hmm. All right. And Denny said, can you recommend some good sunscreen for oily and acne prone skin? Except for, uh, from Claire sunscreen. Well, I think um, if you don't like a little bit of the white cast that Claire sunscreen has, which I like because it helps to like, it helps to even out my skin tone and it kind of gives me like a, like a work of a primer. So I kind of like it. But if you don't like it, you don't want any white cast, I want to prefer, um, recommend Cosrx's Aloe Gel, the Aloe um, Sunscreen. I buy that for a lot of my guy friends and my dad too, because guys really don't like white cast, not even a little bit of it. And it doesn't have any white cast. Um, so I think you'll like that one too. And the finish looks really nice too. It's not too oily. So I think you will like that because you have oily skin, right? All right, so guys, we have 66 wish trenders here today. I'm super happy to see every single one of you. Um, you know, I appreciate you guys coming to my live um, every week. It just means so much to us because we work really hard. I'm like, what could I do next time to make it a little bit more fun? What can I do to make it a little bit more informative? You know, so if you guys have any suggestions anytime, please feel free to leave it on the comments below. And I love you guys so much. And for those of you that come every week, I remember you now and I appreciate your effort because I know that it's like morning time for you. It's like nighttime for you. You have the quiz next day. You have to go to work and things like that. So love you very much. Okay, so let's get right into it. I think I need to start introducing you to the products because today we have to go to the anniversary um, lunch all together with the staff. So I'm gonna go ahead. First up, before I want to show you the whole wish recipe that I personally handpicked out for you, and it is this trio right here. You have my favorite toner, which is Clear Supple Preparation Toner, and then you have my favorite vitamin C product, which is the best, I believe, for sensitive skin on wishtrend.com. So this is a wonderful, wonderful um, vitamin C serum that will brighten your overall skin tone, and this is like the key product of the whole routine. And also, I know a lot of oily skin types and uh, a lot of acne pro skin types love this, and this is vitamin tree uh, water gel. And I'm gonna get started now with this tree. All right, so the first up is Clear Supple Prep Version Toner. And I'm gonna show you the texture right now. Okay. All right, this is my favorite toner. Um, I think if I have to choose one out of the whole 2017, I still come back to this one. I love Claire's, no matter what kind of toners I try. It's very hydrating. It gets your skin prepped for the next step. So it does exactly what a toner is supposed to do. After cleansing, your skin becomes irritated. So this kind of soothes it down and hydrates it. And this gives you a clean canvas so everything you put on afterwards can soak it in really well. Now, I know a lot of Westerners already love it very much, but I'm going to show you the texture. It feels like this. And 
Rather than be 100% watery, it's a little bit viscous. But as soon as the hit, as soon as you touch it, it's really watery and it soaks in really nice. And some toners, you can't do multiple layers, but this toner, you can do the seven skin method if you want to. And it soaks in really fast and it works on top of each other, meaning that it won't not not soak in. So no matter how many layers you do, it will tend to soak in. Do you guys have any questions about the supple prep brush and toner? Because this is an important step for you to brighten your overall skin tone. It doesn't mean, mm, let's say you want to brighten your skin tone. You want to start with a vitamin C toner. You want to start with a vitamin C serum. You want to do a vitamin C cream. You want to do the whole routine, even cleanser. Uh, it might be too strong for you because vitamin C itself has a exfoliating effect. So that's why we recommend that you only use vitamin C um, products in kind of one routine and just one product. I mean, a lot of people ask like, why can't I use BHA? Why can't I use vitamin C in one routine? I mean, you technically can if there's no products or ingredient in there that can clash with one another. But we want to be on the safer side because both of them have effects of exfoliating. So we want to make sure that you don't over exfoliate. That's why we want to recommend you the safest way possible because it's always the best to be safe uh, for your skin. So if you guys have any, any questions about clear simple preparation toner that will get you prepped and ready for the key brightening product, please ask me. Mm. Now, do you need to cleanse before using a toner? Yes, it will be the best for you to cleanse thoroughly and then use a cotton pad. Use a cotton pad together and then using it um, as your first step after cleansing. Now, a lot of people ask me, do I really need to use a cotton pad? And you don't have to, babe. No, to be honest, you don't. But I know a lot of beauty gurus watch our lives and there's a lot of beauty gurus for wishtrend.com. The reason is because once you go cotton pads, you ain't coming back. You kind of feel how good it is. And no matter how thoroughly you cleanse your skin, after you put toner on and you wipe your skin away, you will see the leftover like dirt and makeup and you'll be like, okay, I need to start using cotton pads. So that's also a great way to check if uh, your cleanser is working well because some cleansers afterwards you can see a lot of things left on the cotton pad and you know that it doesn't cleanse thoroughly then you know so yeah i hope that this really helps do you have any questions about the claire's um toner again now then he said eunice i read that some people with sensitive skin break out after using this uh claire's toner what can you say about it can you recommend uh other toner now uh, a lot, this uh, toner works for all skin types, including sensitive skin types. However, I believe some people, uh, some, very few, not a lot, but break out because of maybe the oil um, in this uh, toner. So if they're allergic to a certain oil, I think that's why they break out. But usually even acne, uh, acne prone skin types love this toner and it works perfectly for them. So I think it totally depends on your skin type. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, Dory asked, when is vitamin E going to come back? Okay, that's a great question. It's going to be coming back very, very soon. It's going to come back for sure very soon within this month. So please be on the lookout. Vitamin E is a new arrival and it's already sold out. So guys, a lot of people really love vitamin E mask. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I soak a cotton mask on Claire's toner? Cami, that's a great question. I think you're asking if you can soak this and use it as a sheet mask. And exactly, you can. Because any toners that really work well for the 7 Skin Method will be fabulous for the you know um, DIY sheet mask. And what I like to do is, I always uh, love to use the Claire's toner um, Mate 2-in-1 one because some cotton pads, they eat up all of my products and that pisses me off. <laughs> like, no, don't eat up my toners. Seriously. But they have a sponge cotton pad. So they have two different kinds. They have a compressed cotton pad, which I use when I wipe away as a first step. And then they have the sponge type. 
So I soak this in and I use it as a DIY sheet mask before I put on makeup on a lot because I don't want to use a sheet mask because you know my hair is going to get wet, my hairline and stuff like that. So yeah. Alright guys, so we're going to move on to the second step now. And second is the key. It's the key product to this brightening section. Now, it's, this is Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin Drop. And as you can see, the packaging itself is so pretty and cute. I personally really, really like it. I like that little glow that it has. Let me show you the texture. To be honest, I personally didn't like the texture too much in the beginning because I felt like it felt like oil. But did you guys know that Claire's Freshly um, Juiced Vitamin Drop is oil-free product? This is not oil. It's an oil-free product actually. And after you work your way in like that and you dab, the finish is not that bad. And once you know the effects or have seen results of the effects, you're not going to really care about how the texture feels. But some people do tell us that um, what, when they first put it on, they feel a slight hint of heat. So some people are like, sometimes I feel it and sometimes I don't. What is that? So this is a totally natural um, process where um, when the vitamin C hits your skin or meets your skin, it has temporarily a slight heat, but it goes away after a few seconds. And after the funny thing is after you start using it for a while, then it doesn't, you can't feel it anymore. So your skin gets really used to it. And as you can see, the finish is really nice. I only use about two to three drops. So I do one, two, three, about that time. And I'm done with everything. I just need three drops. I don't need to use too much. And as you can see, it's in a small jar like this, but it goes for a long time. And we recommend that you keep this in the fridge. Now, I like this because this is the first vitamin C product that I fell in love with. This is the first vitamin C product that actually my sensitive skin could handle. So I, I was really, really grateful for this product. And it doesn't fade away acne marks overnight. That's the truth because nothing's gonna fade away acne marks overnight. And especially as you get older, it takes longer time for your skin to heal. Like I remember when I was 24 or 25, let's say I got an acne scar, it goes away after like two weeks or a week even, even if it's a huge one. But after, if you become a little bit older, that healing process takes time too. So for me, right, I got this one acne mark and it's been, um, I think about a month now and now it's slowly fading away, but I could still see it, you know? But vitamins, I mean, naturally acne scars will go away, like, you know, uh, t as time goes on. But it's very important that if you do use vitamin drop, it helps to uh, speed up the fading away uh, process much faster. So I personally want to recommend this. And you don't even need to use it every single night. You can use it three to two to three times a night and it's enough. Any questions about the vitamin drop? And any other questions, guys? Is this serum okay for teens as well? Yes, Shaky, that's such a great question. Did you guys know we recently did a video for teen skin? So after this live, please go check it out. Casper did the video for us. It's amazing. They have a lot of crazy, um, really great uh, product recommendations too. Vitamin drop is mild enough for teens to use also, even if you have extremely sensitive skin or even if you have acne prone skin. So no worries for that and good question. Now, can I use vitamin drop with AHA? Now, it's Fatima, great question. Like I mentioned before, you can use mandelic acid that, that has, you know, um, like chemical exfoliant too. But the reason why we tell you don't use BHA and don't use AHA with the vitamin C serum in one routine is because they both have exfoliating effects. So like I mentioned before, if two of the products doesn't have any ingredients to clash with one another or that can, you know, like might give minus effects for each other, it's okay to use them together. Because, but because they both have exfoliating effect, exfoliating effects, we don't want your skin 
mm, to get irritated or you don't want to over exfoliate your you know skin so that's why we always recommend that you be on the safer side and we don't recommend that you use the vitamin drop with the AHA or BHA product in the same routine but you know some people they do and their their skin is totally very strong and very um they're okay to take that but we recommend that you be on the safer side you know because it might seem okay but it might you might be over exfoliating you never know so yes that's a great question right uh i have I have really sensitive skin. Is it okay? Claris, that's a great question. For me, I have really sensitive skin too. And for a lot of um, people with sensitive skin types, they were really great with uh, vitamin drops. If you feel like you're not 100% sure, what you can do is get it and try the product first on very, very mild parts of the skin. What I mean by is not the face, but you can try on the parts right here. Or you can try it on the parts right here. I'm not flicking you guys off, sorry. But you can, you, can, you can try it on this area. And then you can see if it stings or if it burns. So you can check it out first. Or what I like to do is, sometimes I'm like, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's okay. Then I put it on the strong parts of my face first. So what I mean by that is, um, you know how the sensitive parts are usually like around the mouth and nose? So I would try it on my cheeks first. Or with the vitamin drop, you can actually uh, try mixing it with your hydrating serum. And then you can check that out. Okay, guys. Oh, all right. So everybody is waiting for me now. So I'm going to introduce you to the last product. And it's going to be... I'm from Vitamin Tree Water Gel. Now, this is one of my favorite, favorite moisturizers too. And the texture is so cooling and so, so fresh that I like to use it as serum too. Sometimes I just go with toner and then I go with the vitamin drop and then I go with this and I feel like this just does its job it's so fresh look at that it feels kind of like aloe gel but as soon as you put it on you can feel this instant cooling effect and it's so light and fresh that a lot of oily skin types and acne prone skin types really love it it feels really nice it feels exactly like aloe, actually. I like it. I want it. I want it again. Um, the good thing about this to finish off our routine is that, did you guys know that the vitamin tree, uh, this ingredient has so much vitamin C and vitamin E in it. It has actually 200 more times vitamin C than apples, and it has uh, five more times vitamin E than a something, but I totally forgot. But it's very, very packed with vitamin C and vitamin E. So um, if you use it with the vitamin C serum together, actually vitamin E in this product helps the boost the effect of vitamin C serum because it helps the absorption of vitamin C. So it's a perfect combination for you guys to use together. And like I told you, this works for teen skin to mature skin. So you guys can definitely try it. And like I told you, brightening and whitening can't happen overnight. It can't happen after one procedure. So you have to be a little bit patient and you have to uh, find a routine that really works for you. And I really like these trio and I personally chose it from the Wish recipe because you can add it into your routine. So let's say that you already have your routine going on, then you can actually add these into your routine and you can actually add this one or up to right two. Mm. Here's the vitamin tree cream with a vitamin E mask. Yes, you can use them together. Oh, DK, who is that? Is that your girlfriend? Rachel. Oh, <laughs> it's Rachel. Okay, so you guys, we have to go now. Wendy, hello! But I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in. It was so fun for you guys to be here to hang out with me and I really hope that these selection of products will really help you and remember that fall is the best season to start something that is mild enough but effective for a certain period of time and you will really see the effect yourself so thank you guys so much and I will see you guys next time thank you waiting